brothers and sisters of melanin what's going on brother wisdom you know that dark energy is taking over now a lot of us uh, a lot of our people are starting to awaken some of us are starting to awaken really slow those who refuse to awaken you know like i said you know they just gonna have to be broken down they just have to be born again you know sit up in the courtroom all day hitting away from the sun trying to execute the laws of orcs on our planet trying to execute orc, orc laws instead of fighting for our planet sitting in a scout car all day uh running after our people you know trying to stop our people and give each other give our people um tickets and all that stuff pieces of paper <laughs> Give our piece of pe pieces of paper that these orcs created, so that you can give them a piece of paper with their faces on it. Dark energy is evolving now back on the planet. You know, uh, Fukushima—they're really scared. Like I said, you know, I, the, one of the previous videos I talked about how um, these beings are, these orc beings are scared of a, a, a nuclear war. Because that nuclear radiation is going to activate our uh, um, ether, uh, our ether, or that that dark energy is what, that's within us. All right, because that radiation um, has the uranium, all right, and the plutonium in it that will uh, cause our bodies or the metaphysical parts of our bodies to be highly activated all right plutonium uranium you know uh I'm, I'm i've been looking up um vegetables and fruits that contain plutonium but of course that information is hidden <clears throat> on the web that these orcs want to control but we know that uh, the potatoes contain uranium but it's to plutonium and uranium along with the radiation that uh, uh will activate our bodies if you look at Fukushima right now, all right, and after it um, broke down or whatever, look what happened with Fukushima. There's this dark black icky goo that's forming on the uh, on the tanks right now, and they can't explain it. This is dark energy. This is dark matter. All right, okay. Now we have dark. We have. We are. Our, like I told you before, our melanin, our skin is nothing but dark matter. Inside of our uh, organs, a dark energy. We have very large trace amounts of plutonium and uranium already in our bodies. Okay. So you must understand the power that we have, and this is why they don't want us to return. This is why they're trying to discourage. Uh, uh, their Russian counterparts, <coughs> excuse me, from um, firing off an electromagnetic pulse bomb because that energy from the EMP will literally activate everything that's within us. The gamma radiation, the uh, plutonium, the uranium, the uh, um, heavy amounts of dark energy, the heavy amounts of dark matter. So you must understand the the the, the importance of, of, of these beings trying to um, save themselves. Okay, this is important to them that they save themselves. Right now they've got underground bunkers, you know, because they know that even though they're not going to uh, uh, possibly fire off any nuclear that's why they put a try to put a band on nuclear because they they're watching us they're silently watching us and they're seeing everything that's going on they're seeing how we have awakened they're seeing how we are rising right now they're seeing how we are uh, um, have taken a, 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 a new seat of, of total supreme consciousness you know that's why they that's why they're ready to shoot us on contact you're talking about none melanin beings all right, who were created from uh, these orcs. You know, I told you guys early on, these orcs, what they call white people, were created from dead animals. They, they were created from bile and slime, parasites, bacteria, 
you know, created from all types of um, of nasty, uh, filthy uh, 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 um, fluids, tar, you know, dogs and pigs, they were created from those. And when they came to our planet, what did they do? They used some of our DEA and created their beings, okay? Because the way they originally looked is not the way they look now. And they created some of their beings and they cloned themselves from us. They cloned themselves and made mankind. Mankind is a new species on our planet. Even though their orc species was created 6,000 years ago, mankind is a new species on our planet. And then they begin to clone themselves and, and reclone and reclone and reclone. That's why you got so many of them that look alike. <coughs> you say, you know, be like, wow, why, why is it that um, they look so much alike? Because they were cloned. So many of them were cloned. All right. So um, it's important that we understand that this dark energy matter is highly, highly uh, necessary for us to pay full attention to. That's why they want us to, to uh, pay attention to the things that they're doing. They don't want us to look into the sky. They're trying to hide the sky. Why are they trying to hide the sky? Because dark energy is coming. Our cosmos is full of dark energy. And our, our cosmos is centered this cosmic radiation. This is why they're so scared. And they, you know, they, and they know that their chemtrails cannot block the cosmic radiation. They know this. Only thing the chemtrails can do is block the 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 U the ultraviolet rays from our sun, the UVC, the ultraviolet Christ ray. That's the UVC, that Christ energy. Alright? And they're scared of that Christ energy because it kills them. And this is what's in us. So the importance of our metaphysical growth is that we um, flow deeper and deeper within the, uh, 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 the the realms of our existence. Hence the importance of eating vegetation because what vegetation does is it increases the uh, um, metaphysical uh, um metallic weights in our body see all of these vegetables have dark energy the uv rays from the sun helps to increase the dark energy in the vegetation okay now as the as the dark energy is increased in the vegetation and we eat that that increases the dark energy within us hence the reason why these beings want to create um GMOs so that as long as the the vegetation that we have is gen genetically modified we will not receive that proper amount of dark energy from the sun we will only receive trace amounts which means that we have to eat more GMOs just to get we would have to eat five times the amount of GMOs just to get the amount that we could get from a, a, a one plant that's been under the sun for three or four months from the time of of, of the seed germinating with that uh, uh uv ray coming from the sun all the way to the time it was time for time to harvest all right so this is the importance the, the, the vegetation increases our dark energy. This is why we have to get away from meat. Meat does nothing. This is flesh. When you're eating flesh and when you eat flesh, all right, no matter how much you say I drained all the blood out of, you cannot drain the blood out of flesh because as long as you got flesh, you got blood that's there. You got traces of blood and now that blood gets tied into your, D, your DEA, into your blood system and, and then you become that creature that you consumed. Instead of becoming that being of melanin 
that you were created from that being of, of, of nature that you were created from so highly important that we tap into this dark energy through vegetation now when we are in our uh, what you call the fight or flight state this is this is a part where these uh, uh, orc beings have really uh, uh, studied us really heavily all right when we're in a state of our fight or flight what happens is the dark energy that's within us connects to the original source it came from and this is what they're scared of the original source that the dark energy came from which is the cosmos the Sun our planet all right so we make that connection that's your Dragon Ball Z your avatar state that's that's you know because they, they these beings know that dark energy is highly volatile dark energy is uh, um, uh, destructive in its um, high uh, molecular state it's, it's very destructive so they would they fear us um, going into that avatar state that's why like I said you know when when when, when uh, uh, one the own brother was killed um, and down in Ferguson. You know the officer says, you know, he 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 uh, his fist was 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 uh, uh, was he he balled his fist up and and he looked at me and and I feared for my life and what what he saw was these these orc beings can see the dark energy in us and what he saw was the dark energy building up in that young brother and he killed him. All right, but but who knows? what power that young brother had all right so what happens is when that dark energy is built up in us and we get into that fight or flight state and we go and extend our hands out because we are a weapon and we extend our hands out and send that energy there's a chemical bonding process that happens okay the dark energy that's within us connects to the cosmos which is the original uh, 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 um, source of that dark energy that black energy that blackness all right and then that dark energy connects to the dark matter that we are we are dark matter and it's a chemical bonding process and it, and it only takes seconds for it to happen and then therefore dark energy releases from our hand from our mouth from our eyes from our feet all right so we can we can literally uh, 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 create black fire or dark fire, dark energy, and dark energy comes from our body, and this is what destroys <coughs> these orc beings. Remember, it only takes inner peace because the cosmos is full of inner peace. But yet, still, even though the cosmos is full of inner peace, the cosmos is always in a protective state to protect its own, and this is what we must be. This dark energy is highly important for us to focus on these beings you know they like i said you know they, they they fear it so you know they'll you know when it comes to their military they'll they'll dupe our own people who are in the military and says oh you know these people are are, are um they're uh vicious you know they're um <laughs> uh what's, an, what's another word they they, they want to use they they said they're vicious and they're evil you know they're they're uh, um, out of control, vague uh, 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 vagrants. <laughs> you know they want they call us all kind of different things. Okay, but the whole point about it is they need our people to be brainwashed so that they will know less about themselves and more about the agenda of destroying their own people not knowing that we all are part of this dark energy because we're guardians of the galaxy as well as guardians of the planet okay so it's highly important that we uh, uh function within this this area of dark energy dark matter so that we can focus properly so that we can properly focus on this energy all right so a lot of times you know you, you get in that fight or flight state you know you'd be like wait a minute hold on you know I'm not going I'm not going to run because if I run he's going to try to shoot me but if I stand here I need to use this energy that's within me. 
and you stand alone. The greatest army is he who stands alone. You know why? Because you trust yourself. Now, if you have a trusted brother or sister that you know will stand beside you, it would be no problem with standing in pairs because, you know, one could put a thousand flight, two could put ten thousand flight. All right? Which means that the energy that's within you, if one could put a, a, a thousand to flight, two of you together will exceed that by a thousand. That would be one thousand times a thousand, which is ten thousand, which means that the energy has has increased that much. So if one could put a thousand to flight and two could put ten thousand to flight, then three could put a hundred thousand to flight. Because ten thousand times ten thousand is going to be your hundred thousand. Let me see. Am I right? Am I right? Uh, you got uh, 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 six. Actually, you put uh, ten million to flight, or well, somewhere around there in that in that area. You know, you put uh, a million to flight. So three of them can put a million to flight. All right, so we gotta we gotta understand we gotta understand the, the the power that we have. I mean, just imagine a hundred of us standing together, just when and and the, and the work that we can do. And it's all about consciousness. It's all about that because consciousness is number spiritual energy, it's spiritual strength. Okay, that's all it is. And it's consciousness and knowing who you are, knowing the power that you possess. This dark energy is highly important. And, you know, they say it's volatile. It's, they say it's highly volatile. And why is it volatile? Because um, in its right state, it destroys and gives birth. So remember, you know, I said this carbon that's within us, the carbon within us creates energy and absorbs energy, but at the same time destroys that which is not energy around us. So that which is an anti-energy agent, the carbon within us, as it's creating this energy, is destroying everything that doesn't belong to nature all around us. And we, and a lot of times we can't see it. Sometimes we can feel it. We can feel that popping, pop, 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 pop. You know, while we're doing our Tai Chi or whatever, we can feel that popping sound. So it's important, all right, that we understand um, the, 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 the balance of our bodies and our strength. All right, my people. Uh, this is all I have for right now. I'll catch you on the next go around. All power to the no multi chakra people. Melon, peace to you all.